hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i'm going to show you how you can get urban non-urban and residential area by utilizing dynamic world data set so here you can see i got different classes actually uh, urban non-urban and residential areas are my different classes and i got them in square kilometers for them i apply different threshold frequencies so you can see in my legend like 0.5 representing urban 0.3 residential and 0.1 for non-urban so you can adjust these threshold values according to your study area so without wasting time let's dive into the code so here you can see this is my study area and lahore it's a city over here in pakistan so i'm just focusing on it and i want to get the built up area like urban non-urban and residential area and for urban area i'm just considering it actually these are my buildings and uh, the non-urban and uh, residential areas you can say it's second second class i got three classes here uh this error is due to actually i have to click on run so i'm gonna run i gonna run it now here i will show you so it will load uh maybe my internet is a bit slow but here the results will and you can see it loaded all the classes and it's also loading map layout in the map view layer. now uh, let's move to the code first of all i loaded my area of interest which is lahore city of pakistan so i loaded my shape file so you can replace your table id simply here and the rest of the code will remain the same and then i used actually this is our main data set on the basis of which we are getting all these classes so i use dynamic world and uh, you can also use this data set to get land use land cover it's a uh, like latest uh, data set uh, you can get uh, your land your study area land use land cover of like for example if you want it for 2024 you can get it so let me show you it's opening so this one actually this is the data set i'm using for the this analysis and here you can see uh, it's uh, it provided by uh, world resources and available till 2024 uh, and uh, they try to keep it up to date and here uh, let me show you the band's information its resolution is like 10 cent 10 meters and here you can see resolution and different bands like and our main concern is on this build so we will use this build band to get all these so i selected build to get a urban non-urban and residential area so this is our major class on which we will focus and for example if you want to get the land use land cover in next video i'll explain how you can get your study area land use land cover by using this data set so let me show so here i applied for urban like i applied 0 0.5 threshold and for residence i applied uh, around 0 0.3 and for non-urban 0 0.1 so it's up to you uh, you can also uh, increase or decrease the values it depends on the study area you actually working on for example if you are from remote area then uh, 0.5 is like not a good uh, threshold frequency so it depends area to area and uh, time to time and places to places uh, and also ground data reality so here you can see code uh, in between uh, it's just uh, simple about the legend but here the main thing i want to show i actually applied the functions to calculate or multiply by the pixel area to and uh, and i also applied a reducer and i applied scale 30 so it's up to you if your study area is big you can increase scale value and max pixel values and if if map pixel uh, fails you can also apply uh, best uh, effort to true so it's up to you and here you can see i applied function to get uh, uh, the numbers so we will able to get uh, the chart so these numbers were necessary to generate this chart class like if we got uh, classes urban residential non-urban and here is how i edit chart so uh, by using set options you can get 
char title according to your own will so this is all about the code hope you got it and uh, uh, let me show you practically uh, and you can uh, apply it on different uh, data sets and you can also test uh, directly open this code and you can get the or you can just observe how it's showing land land cover so i hope that it was helpful thank you have a nice day stay blessed